What? 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 Huh? Hey kids, it's Bulls out here to show you how to find halves, quarters, and eighths. Imagine you have a yummy pizza. You want to share that pizza equally with one of your friends. You cut the pizza into eight equal pieces and you would have seven of them and they would have one. I'm just kidding. You know how it works. You would cut the pizza equally into two pieces. Each piece is called a half. You get one half and your friend gets the other half. That's a good friend. Both of you get the same amount of pizza. It's like sharing. Super fair. Now, Two more friends come over. You've got a problem because you don't have enough pizza. So, both you and your original friend need to share what you have now. So, now there are four of you, including you. You need to cut the pizza into four equal pieces. So, everyone gets a piece. Each of those pieces is called a quarter, a half of a half. Oh no, four more friends showed up and they didn't bring their own pizza. Now there are eight of you and you're all very hungry. To share fairly, you gotta cut each quarter in half again. So it's a half of a half of a half. Each slice is called an eighth. An eighth are smaller than quarters, and quarters are smaller than halves. But everyone gets a piece. All for the pizza party. Remember, a half is two equal pieces. A quarter is four equal pieces. And an eighth is eight equal pieces. The more people you share with, the more slices you need, and the smaller each slice gets. Sharing pizza is a delicious way to learn about fractions. Now imagine instead of a pizza, you have a group of eight apples to share. If you split the apples into two equal groups, each group would have four apples. Each group is called a half of the apples together. The two halves make the whole group of eight apples. If you split the apples into four equal groups, each group will have two apples. Each of these smaller groups is called a quarter of the apples. Four quarters still adds up to eight apples. If you split the apples into eight equal groups, each group will have one apple. Each single apple is an eighth of the whole group of apples. All eighths together make up the entire group of eight apples. Whether it's a whole pizza or a group of things, like apples, when you divide something into halves, quarters, or eighths, you're splitting it into equal parts. The more parts you divide, the smaller each part gets. But all the parts together always make up the whole. And remember children, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're inviting that many people to your pizza party, you probably want to order more than one pizza. Till next time.